Muddy muddy mo, oh, muddy mo, muddy muddy mo, I. <laughs> What's up, crypto world? It's your boy Muddy Mo, aka the King of Minnows, aka the Dab White Paper Go, and this is Crypto Dab Yap. All right. So today we're gonna be talking about Void Token. All right. Void Token is unavoidable in DeFi, all right? <laughs> but before we get off into that, man, y'all already know, man, it's Muddy Mo, man, the king of minnows. I gotta talk to my minnows, all right? Minnows, make sure we are not looking back, all right? Don't ever go back. Going back can get you in trouble in a lot of different ways, you know? Just think about it. Uh, if you're one of those type of people that went back to a, a crazy ex, <laughs> crazy ex-girlfriend or something, right? Or if you went back to an old job that you know you shouldn't have went back to it. You know the reason you left was because it was terrible, all right? Or if you like a gambler and you keep going back to the casino, all right? You know, once I go back, I'm going to lose. So why am I going back, all right? So as minnows and crypto dApps, we need to make sure that we're always progressing, all right? That's the one thing is we have to progress, all right? The good thing is you've come a long way in crypto, all right? Bad thing is you went the wrong way. And you don't want that to happen to you, all right? <laughs> so, Crypto Minnows, make sure you keep your crypto, all right? Don't look back to the time when you didn't have it, all right? Y'all want to hear more? Stay tuned. Aight! Right, Void Token. Void Token is unavoidable in DeFi, all right? Void Token. So, this is voiddefi.io, uh, where we can transact and exchange and stake your Void Tokens, all right? But before we jump off into that, man, let me go back. We got to kind of go back in history. Let's jump back a little bit. So jumping back, uh, this is the original Void. All right. So uh, originally with Void, uh, there was an airdrop. So you can join the uh, airdrop. It was certain things that you had to do. Uh, it was real simple things, but you could join the airdrop and you can get uh, just free Void tokens. And that's how it started. So one thing that the original Void developers wanted to do uh, was make a deflationary token. All right, so uh, Void is deflationary and it uh, burns basically at a 3% rate. So what does that mean? So if you spend 100 Tron on Void, um, it's going to burn 3% of that. So it'll be 97. So it burns 3%. And what that does is it makes the, uh, the total supply of Void always will be going down to a certain degree. So it'll always hold its value all right so now what other deflationary tokens do we know boom frag token all right remember frag token is deflationary too the main difference between frag token and void is that void uh burns at a higher rate it burns at three percent that's crazy now the one thing i can say about the previous owners because they did a good job on the ui i, I think they did a good job of coming into it and they wanted something that was you know could be airdropped to everybody and that you can use and it go up in value and that makes sense but to me, they didn't take it to the next level. Um, maybe they got overwhelmed. Uh, maybe the space was just too much for them. I don't know. But um, to me, they just didn't take it to the next level of what you can do with a deflationary token like Void Token. All right. All right. Now, you already know, man. It's Muddy Mo, the Dap White Paper. <laughs> I'm going to look at the white paper and see what's going on. All right. And this is from the original uh, owner. So uh, we'll see what we can get from here. And also, one thing about voiddefi.io is that this white paper is not linked to it. So I had to go to TronScan and go to the Void token to find it there. So if you're interested in that, you can find it there. So it's just talking about the Void token. Um, it started off with something called Bomb. Um, we don't need to go back there. And the main thing here is that it was a 3% deflationary rate. That was the main thing uh, to take from Void token. And one thing also to, to note is the uh, token distribution and what they originally what the original owners uh, wanted the void token to be um, so it's basically saying 90% of the void tokens uh, will be airdropped or given so they just wanted to give these tokens away which is pretty dope in its original concept um, and 50% will alloc be allocated to unofficial airdrops so just giving away a lot of void tokens so um, and also saying you know the remaining 40% will be given away through you know giveaways and um, prizes and partnerships and all this kind of stuff so this was the original white paper this is what the original uh, owners this was their vision for what the void token should be um, but I think the one thing that the new owners took away from this is that 3% deflationary token 
all right and it's already um people with it and it's already a market for it all right so let's jump right off into it void defi.io where you can get your void tokens all right um like i said before this uh this link right now this link to the white paper is not working so i think they're coming up with a new white paper um a new group that's in crypto bought void token essentially so they bought the contract bought all that so um it's under new ownership uh, i don't know if it's new developers i'm sure it is but this is a different site and it allows you to do a lot of different things with void tokens all right now this is the front page um just nice and simple now the one thing i do wish that they had a faq or a white paper they need something you need something to make sure people know about what's going on or what your plans are or something um maybe some instructions for more adoption uh, you just have to make sure that you're on top of making things simple for the people but overall it's a nice clean front page it's just not much here so, so let's talk about the void token exchanges all right so these are the exchanges where you can trade your void all right um and each of these have what's called a liquidity which i'll talk about in a second and it also has an opportunity for you to convert um your tron your btt or your frag into void tokens which which is fire that's a money mo bing because that's dope and I think the new owners of Void want Void to be an exchange. I think they want to exchange all tokens or all maybe Tron tokens um, in this exchange for Void. So that makes sense. If that's their if that's the aim, that makes sense. Make sure you understand that if if they're trying to make an exchange off of a deflationary token, this, that that token is going to keep going up in value because people are going to keep exchanging. So um, you know, as it's burning at three percent. I can't whistle. <laughs> that was terrible. But it's going to look good over time. The void token price is going to look good. All right. So on the exchanges, you got void for Trine, which makes a lot of sense. Also, you have void for BTT. And also, this one is the big one here. This one I'm really enjoy talking about. This is void for frag. That is a muddy mo. Bing. <laughs> that is very ridiculous. Very ridiculous in a very good way and i think y'all gonna really like um why this is very important to have this uh void to frag conversion there quick so let's look at the tron exchange so the tron exchange here we go we got where you can swap where you can convert your tron into void this is where you can just swap uh straight up tron for uh void that's a good idea obviously we know void token looks like they're in exchange so uh that's cool um and it shows a lot of information and now one thing i want you guys to pay attention to is this liquidity provider fee this is basically what gives liquidity to the void token all right so that little fee goes into void and it should be bringing the price of void up over time all right so here in the middle is just showing the transaction so nice and clean to know uh what's going on uh and here is the big one this is what we want to talk about is the liquidity all right it's a liquidity piece to this before i jump into liquidity the one thing i do like about this this trying to void converter is that it's really easy like it makes it really easy to buy void um if you just come to the site you can you know get your tron you, you know link to your tron link account and you can just buy your void that's really cool so liquidity all right so initially you had to email i can't remember the guy but you had to email somebody to get into liquidity so liquidity is essentially a hourglass contract all right it's not an hourglass for void token it's an hourglass contract for tron so it's similar to other hourglass contracts like bankrolls hourglass contracts and token there and pyro bank and frag token tron prime essentially all the crypto dApps and DeFi <laughs> is going to have hourglass somewhere on it uh, so that's what they've done and it's just adding liquidity onto void right it's just keeping people hopefully using this these claims whatever they claim to buy more void i think that's the goal of it one big difference is in liquidity uh the exit fee is five percent in and five percent out um in most other hourglass structures they really start at ten percent so uh, that's pretty good it's low that means they want people to get in and out no big deal uh, but they want you to go buy void with that now how is liquidity helping void token all right you see this liquidity provider fee is 0.3 percent that's where they're getting it the little funds right so they just want people going in and out to get these fees so that's why the the entry and exit fee is only five percent because they don't mind you getting in and out they're still gonna get that percentage fee and not only just that it's just like any other hourglass you get your again dividends if you're in it so it pays to hold some trying in it but this the main thing it does is it keeps void the deflationary token it keeps void active right it keeps 
uh, trine coming in and out. And what happens when it's active? It keeps deflating, right? It has a 3% burn rate. Remember that. The liquidity essentially just adds on to transactions in void, all right? But that's what it's supposed to do. Let's go back to the exchange. Let's jump up to BTT. Let's see what BTT's exchange is looking like. The void to BTT. Void token to BTT. Now, um, same thing, just like Tron, all right? You know, has a swap. We can convert your BTT over in the void. Um, it shows the recent transactions. And it also has a liquidity portion to BTT um, through void, all right? Same thing, 5% in, 5% out. Now, this is, let me just say this real quick. I can't stand when platforms, any major ecosystem that's in these crypto dApps or crypto DeFi, if you deal in Tron on your dApp, you should almost 100%, especially if it's an hourglass structure, you should almost 100% always have BTT too. It makes no sense not to. Um, just have BTT. It's easy for everybody. So you see Void did the uh, Void to BTT as well. Um, and the main thing here, as always, like I said before, um, trying to get people to basically swap their BTT for void. So basically keeping the transactions up in void to keep deflating that token. So the price keeps going up. All right. Now, let's talk about the big one. This is what I'm happy to talk about. Excited. Because this is fire. This is fire. Void to frag. This is dope. I'm going to give this right now. I'm going to give this a muddy mo. Bing! Void to frag. Man, this is fire. All right. So at the time of shooting this video, you know, we still waiting on the converter to come along to convert frag to void. Uh, but this is fire. So void to frag. Now, you may ask, Money Mo, why is this fire? Why is that dope? So why is having void to frag more important than void to Tron or void to BTT? I'll tell you. Let Money Mo tell you why. I need you. Now, hold on. I need you guys to take this seriously because. We're looking at a historic occasion in crypto dApps. Listen to me right now. Historic. Why? This is the first smooth transaction uh, exchange for deflationary tokens, right? Void is a deflationary token. Also, frag is a deflationary token, all right? So anytime frags or void tokens is uh, exchanged on this exchange, the price is going up. Tokens are being burned, right? That's a muddy mo. Bing! All right, two deflationary tokens working together. So this is good for void token because it's deflationary. So, you know, every transaction you have um, comes back. All that liquidity, all those fees is going back into void token. So that's fire. Also, it's helping frag because, you know, every transaction we have, every time we swap or convert, Every time we uh, do anything liquid with frags, it's that 1% deflation. That's fire. And then most likely, Tron Prime is going to go up because it's connected to frag token. So, so you got to think. The value is going to continue to increase of all three. Void, frag, and Tron, even Tron Prime because of frag. Um, but especially frag because it is still converting. Um, I think that's, you know, that's fire. That's definitely a muddy mo. Bing! This is huge. This is fire. This is what we need. All right? The reason being is because frag token does not have a, not a lot of ways in and out it's essentially like an independent site so you know frag has its own exchange and you know now this makes it whereas you can get frag through void token through a different exchange so, so that's what makes this very very special now just that um another way it's helping frags is because this uh, void to frag here is holding frag tokens all right that liquidity is holding it it's just holding the tokens there you know people gonna get their earnings you know they just holding frag in here and just getting a drip of frag every day you know that's another money mo because no other exchange or no other platform is holding frag off of the frag exchange so that's very unique and that's fire minnows so if you're interested in saving some frag outside of frag box make sure you're doing it here like this is the best place this void the frag liquidity is the best place for it. it's fire to have anything you know regarding the hourglass system in regards to frag so uh, that's fire so real quick so let's take a look at the staking all right so y'all know man money mo I, I have my free airdrop voids and i sold them <laughs> but uh this thing could be you know it's very similar to the old staking site you know it's the same thing just staking um your void and you know the total stake right now is just over two million but one thing to pay attention to 
it's how much void you're getting and how often. I think it's done like by the hour. So, but the main thing is, it's only 380,000 void remaining in this fund. So, and uh, you know, also one thing to remember that if you lock these tokens, um, you know, it's gonna lock you for like 14 days. That's a long time. So, it's just making sure you're not gonna be able to take out these stakes off the, and deflate it. So, and you know, as we know. It's a deflationary token, so it burns every time we have a transaction with uh, Void. All right, so that's the staking. That's cool if you want to get some long-term uh, Void tokens. That's cool. The competition. So let's touch competitions real quick. So you know, the competitions. It looks like they're gonna have some um, some more. You know, got some more places here set for some competition. So obviously, their main focus, Void's main focus, is to burn more Void. So basically, they want you to convert this stuff. So. Um, so you see they got a competition here for converting frag to uh, void tokens you know and this kind of uh, competition is going to raise the floor of both void and frag but particularly void you know, it might not be about a lot but it's going to you know raise it nonetheless so and also to go back um, on this exchange I meant to say that there's a limit on you know how much you know you can buy in this liquidity in this uh, void to try liquidity um, and it's like a per hour thing a per four hour thing so Let's just say if we just buy three Tron, boom. All right, now I got my, my Tron and my pool share. I get my dividends off of that. You see it's just typical hourglass. Also, you see it's locked for four hours. So every four hours, the max that someone can buy is 400 Tron. That's fire. That gets some money more, bing, because that's whale protection. It's, it's protection from uh, us minnows against the whales who could, that could just come in and pump and dump this contract, all right? So that's good for us, all right? So that's Void Token, all right? Make sure y'all go to TronDefi.io to get your uh, Void Tokens, man. Y'all want to hear more? Stay tuned. Aight! All right, so that was the full breakdown on Void Token, all right? Void Token is unavoidable in DeFi. All right, so make sure you go get some of your deflationary token, the Void Token, all right? Deflates at a 3% rate. So y'all already know, man, Muddy Mo talk to my minnows. I talk to my minnows about not looking back, all right? You already into crypto dApps. Don't look back. Don't sell it off. Keep it. All right. Let it build. It's gonna grow. Trust me. We also we talked about the void token, all right, the void exchange, the void staking, and all the things that void is doing and void being a deflationary token, all right? Which means that it's burning every time you make a transaction with void. That's fire, man. Money Mo overall gets void token to money mo. Bing! Because I think void token is good. Um, and I think it's gonna be a great exchange for the people. All right, y'all want to hear more? Stay tuned. Aight. And man, thank y'all for rocking out with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. It's your boy Muddy Mo, aka the King of Minnows, aka the Dab White Paper. Gah! And you've just experienced crypto dab. Yeah. All right. Now, if you're interested in getting to any of these dabs, make sure you hit the links in the description below. Also, don't forget to check me out on Library. Support me, tip me, and share. All right? Check me out on Steam It. Check me out on YouTube. Hit that like and subscribe. And last but not least, make sure y'all check me out on Telegram. All right? Money mo. Money, money mo. <laughs> y'all want to hear more? Check out the next video.